Spiwe Chabikwa is a doting grandmother and vocal HIV activist. When CCTV spoke to her last year, she was pushing for quicker distribution of drugs so people in the community where she volunteers could get access. She's still fighting, as she tells me drugs are in short supply. Government estimates that 1.3 million people are living with HIV, but only half of them are receiving approved treatment. Some of them skip their medication because they either forget to take it or one of the combination drugs is unavailable. Spiwen knows all about these challenges. She's been living positively with HIV for 15 years and looks forward to getting onto the new regimen, which she believes will significantly lower the rates of default. It's just once a day at night, so you don't forget. And those who are already receiving the tablet say it's quite effective. It boosts the immune system very quickly. Right. Zimbabwe's battle against HIV suffered when government failed to meet its target to have at least 840,000 people on antiretroviral treatment by 2013. But it is still one of the leading lights in Africa and has scored a number of victories. New infections are down, as are deaths as a result of the disease. And crucially, through access to antiretroviral therapy, people like Spiro Chabikwa and many more like her can now live normal and longer lives. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.